Welcome back to Factorio C Block and TSM episode number 59. Uh, okay, so let's get the nickel and gold uh, underway. I don't think I have a nickel uh, priority set up like this, so um, let's do that right now. Uh, nickel or uh, let's see if there's a TS. There should be a set select so that is for the oh that's tin um maybe we don't actually have a station for it yet that's probably that's probably true we don't actually have an empty nickel station that one is zinc i think i was going to set one up yes i was going to set up a nickel and a gold okay so do i have some of these i do all right um Let's run up there and set these up. So copper continues to be an issue. Um, oh, good, went up there. It's not a supply of the ore issue. It is clearly a uh, turning it into plate issue. So, um, you are going to be called empty item equals nickel or and you are going to be nickel or whoops, what? Uh, Empty nickel ore. These are definitely different, aren't they? Yes. Very similar, but they are different. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'll copy that to there. And then I will get rid of the empty name. And write supply after it. There you go. That saves me typing all that stuff out. So we now have the nickel um, stations that we require for our empty trains concept. Um, and I think the other one is the gold. Empty item equals gold or a Same deal here. Supply. Uh, so, in that case, what we can do is have the nickel, uh, nickel, 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 nickel ore, TSM for empty nickel ore, select, um, I think that's the nickel. Yes, it should be. Um, and edit that so no inactivity and until full. And then we'll go back to here, get nickel or nickel or which we'll select from uh, nickel. No, that's tin. That one's nickel. Nickel supply. Get rid of an activity. I might change it so there's a default on. You can have an activity default on or off, depending. Um, since there's often cases like I've been using where you don't actually want it. Uh, let's do the same for gold while we are here. Gold, gold ore. Let's see if there's a gold. Yes, there is. Select. Empty gold. Except with that one we want full and we want gold or gold or one is the gold supply and the inactivity. Okay, we now have all of those. Um
I'm going to go back to main base. Oh, I'm probably going to need trains for those as well. Let's set up the trains. Um, that's at least two more trains. Pay to watch where I'm going as I go through here. Uh, we need some engines. As you can see, I've made these assembly machine threes just because we seem to be going through, and I've doubled up the number of engines in there. Uh, so what else do we need? We need green circuits. I've got no room left. Um, I don't know why dust and crushed bobmonium on me. Uh, and silicon ore and lead ore. Get rid of some of these things that are not helping my cause. Silicon ore can be placed in these things. Um, and lead ore can be placed uh, up there. Then we need some green circuits. Probably should concrete all this area so that we can move around a little bit faster. Uh, I should really have a box there, but never mind. We don't have, so that's the way it is. Uh, one, two, that's not enough. I need some steel plate. Oh, really? What else am I full of now? Mono, silicon. I picked up too many electric circuits, basically. Mono, silicon, though, is certainly not something I want to have a stockpile of. Um... To, uh, we don't have enough steel. Uh, three, four, one, two. Now, what are we short of? Iron. Uh, one, two, three, four. Placing these guys. So starting with you, you can be the nickel train. Uh, lead, this should be nickel. Go to empty nickel. Wait for circuit condition and then... stations um, nickel supply and wait for circuit condition uh, you are full good enough you go and the other train um, you are Empty gold, wait for circuit condition, and gold supply, wait for circuit condition. Quite full yet, you're full, you're full, off you go. Uh, that probably means that our 
Um, yeah, this is a perfect example of why I want to change this up a little bit. Um, I want to try something out, see what happens. So, I... I'm going to run out there to our, uh, what is it, our production facilities of the ore. down here okay let's try something so um this sort of situation gets a little bit frustrating so i'm not really using this um transfer back between the two because it's they do actually seem to balance out quite well um what i want to do is i want to see if i had uh where are they filter stack filter inserters if i uh you're gonna have to move if i had a stack filter inserter that basically said um blacklist and pick up the um the filter so uh, set filters so that will blacklist what we're actually loading then what I should be able to do do the same thing here Blacklist, yes, and if this now is not set, uh, oh, hang on, this needs to go. Up to there, and oh, yeah. Which way? Do, <laughs> how do we split this evenly? Um, you'll pick up from there, and you'll drop to there, and you'll drop to there. You'll pick up from there and drop to there. Right. So that is how this will work. And if I do that, that will clear out all of these and I don't actually need to worry about stack size. I don't need to worry about uh, having the trains filtered. Um, it will just sort itself out if they're left with a small balance. Simple, smart. There you go. Why didn't I think of that before? Um... Now I need to wipe out all of the carriage filters. Uh, or I don't need to, I guess. Um, what are you? Zinc ore. Uh, where is the other ores that I'm after? Oh, you're still filling up very slowly. I'll tell you what I'm going to do with you. I'm just going to send you um, on your way. Um, and we're going to build this down there as well. We'll probably do it up here as well. We need it everywhere. Um, that's the smartest thing I've thought of for a short period of time. 
Uh, let's get a copy of it. Uh, yeah. You are good. What don't I need in here? Follow, that's not what I want to do. In there. We don't need half of these things. Um, that's my blueprint, right. Uh, let's run down to this one. Whoa. You perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, and mineral sludge is actually on top of our demand at the moment. You need a radar to replace the one that I took away. You know what? I might, um, I might put the radar at the other side. Oh, and how extreme is our sulphur? That's crazy. I don't know what I'm going to do with all that sulphur. Radar. How are you going? 15k. Uh, uh, why are you not full? Some extra slag in that one that's not back here. 3k because of how we sent it on its way previously. Uh, okay, in that case, let's get some. Transfer it in here. What have you got? 2.6. enough. I turned you guys off. What is the story? Alright, um, we have that mechanism. You are the zinc ore. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I have a Zinc or Train S. Um, I've only gone as far as R. What about T is set up? So you're supposed to be, if Train's on, the way is less than S. Then order the Zinc. The Zinc or Empty Zinc or Train. Oh, yeah, okay, good. Now that probably means we don't have one. So that's another train that we need to set up. Uh, while we're thinking about these, this improved handling, um, let me whack it down here as well. We're gonna need my bots on. Oh, bother. I haven't taken these guys out of the way. Right, yeah. 
we go. Um, that's, that seems like such a simple yet brilliant idea. Uh, very happy with that. Uh, did we get the... No, I need to come back to this one, bother. Uh, I need to come back to that one anyway because that's where we set up those other trains. So I need a zinc train. Zinc train, I need finish this bit off. R is to find no, Q. Q is nickel. Q is calling for a train, but it has obviously not been defined here. So let's get our nickel happening. Nickel ore, empty nickel ore. There we go. It's on its way. And the other one is S. So um, that's Q. That's R for the bauxite. And this will be S. Uh, trains on the way is less than S. Send me a gold. Uh, empty, empty gold. The point of using all of these different empty symbols is it gives us more flexibility in terms of um, the number of empty trains that we can have potentially for each material. Where we're going to call them from. Um, okay. I think I've sorted that out for now. So, a zinc train. Where are we exactly? We're close to the bottom. All right. A zinc train. And make sure the TSM uh, stations have been set up correctly at the top. Um, getting there, guys. We are definitely getting there. And then fix up copper. I might need to start making a list. Could always add the uh, to-do list, but I think that makes a lot more sense in a multiplayer game. Um, I sometimes just use the uh, map markers to make a list of things to do when it starts getting long and complicated and confusing. I guess at this point, um, at this point I haven't so far, but um, certainly could. Okay, we wanted uh, two of these, and we're going to be short on engines very soon so let's just grab one stack because we only need two and I want two of these I'm short of steel I could just grab steel from there two here we go a zinc train maybe should have maybe we just smashed through it a little bit uh. okay you can go to empty zinc which would be that one uh, circuit condition and Zinc supply circuit condition. Um, how full are you? You're not full. You are not full either. Um,
That'll do. Off you go. Uh, so what's going on here exactly? I think we're just using a lot of power. Hydrogen supply is not as consistent as it used to be. Um, 28,000. Pretty good. Okay, so... Now that we've done that, this guy, um, Nicolor, less than 8k output R. Trains on the way, less than R. Then call the nickel. Or nickel ore train. Called already. Now, uh, what I might do is use a. Uh, what are we actually using here? Fast filter inserters. I don't have any of them on me. I've only got fast stack filter. So that's what we're going to have to use. Uh, you can be a near drop. The filter will be the nickel. And Where does nickel have to go? I think it has to go all the way over to here. I'm not mistaken. Yes, that's where the nickel has to go. Uh, there's actually tons of it right here, so we don't need a whole lot more. Um, but... Do I want to see if there's a more efficient process than just... Uh, in fact, all we're doing is making ingots. We're not even making, we don't make nickel plates, we just make ingots. Um, I should probably say if I've got some here, I don't need any. And otherwise, uh, see what that's for um, so we need to get past this line uh, this doesn't appear to have a purpose right now but it might have in the future so just in case it ever does get a purpose should be fine for nickel um, oh we were getting rid of we had massive oversupply wow uh, yeah I don't actually want a whole heap of nickel to come here unless we kind of need it um, doesn't really get up there does it uh, 
um, I need you to come over here with that information and we can connect like so so um, I really don't want nickel ingots to be delivered if there is it's not as simple as just create R it's um, Uh, maybe I'll get an arithmetic. It says if it's less than 8,000, okay. Arithmetic. And what I want to do basically is say nickel ingots. Uh, which are those times 8,000 that can output as nickel ore. So that's a huge number and what we're going to do is feed that number up to there so we don't have any R symbols anytime soon. There you go. So we don't need nickel, um, all that effort to put nickel in, and we don't actually need it, but yeah. <laughs> At least we can fill up a box. Okay, that's nickel. Uh, zinc. Zinc also has a box, so it's not something that's hugely in demand either. Uh, what about gold? Gold also has a box. Also a product that's not hugely in demand then. Other than at some point we're gonna need it. Oh, one other thing. I need to make a change to the fuel oil that I set up last time. Then I promise we'll come back and deal with copper. Oh look, copper is actually What's going on? How did copper get back, banked up? Uh, this line is full. This line is full. Ah, this is the. <laughs> this has become the bigger problem. I've burnt off all my fuel oil when I actually needed to retain some. So, uh, yeah, let's change, instead of just burning off all the fuel oil, let's only burn it off if it is an overflow situation. Um, and that makes this all slightly more awkward than it was. Uh, do I have an overflow valve? What's that one? Top up valve allows flow if the output side is below 80%. That's, yeah, uh, no, that's not what I want. I want um, overflow, top up, overflow. Allows flow if the input side is above 80%. That's what we want. <sighs> so I overdid my use of the fuel oil. Uh, never mind. So how are we going to stimulate a bit more fuel oil to be produced? Is this maxed out? 80. 90. Probably going to need to put that back in shortly, but let's do that. Good, that's letting this operate again. Uh, 
Uh, I still have this strong suspicion that uh, Copper is not going to cope, however. I guess we'll soon see. All of these should be able to operate. Why are you not? Oh, so the uh, fuel oil, is that the problem? No, now it's the naphtha. Crude oil. Uh, that's not a problem. The multi phase oil, it's trying its best. The setup may not be big enough for what we're trying to do. All right, I'm going to have to come down to that bit. It's so easy to break this stuff, it seems. So easy. Okay, first of all, uh, you do not have any sulfuric wastewater. That is bad. Stop converting sulfuric wastewater to sulfuric acid. What's this? Is that something? No, it's just a different sort of pipe. Yes, it's all going in here, except I don't want it to go in here anymore. Um, unless it's needed. So this will only be an overflow valve. What's that? Top up valve. No, overflow valve. Uh, is there any, there's no, there's no other side there. So it's just this one. So let's not convert anything back. Uh, let's see where we're actually creating the sulfuric wastewater. At this point, I really cannot remember. Unless we've basically chopped out every possible facility for it. Uh, here we go. We create sulfuric wastewater in this process. Uh, which once again is waiting on this process. Which once again is waiting on the nutrient pulp. Waiting on the raw vegetable oil, which needs some more beans. This is very slow. <laughs> I need a much bigger farm than this if this is to make any sense. How much do you actually need? A hundred. All this does is make thirty. And then zap, it's done. A tiny bit of this stuff comes through. Um, 
which is actually not even the one that we cared about. It's this one. And you need how much? You need 100. Uh, this process is going to need serious reconsideration scale of things. Um, acetone, acetone, acetone. Um, is that seriously the only place that we're now using sulfuric wastewater? It quite possibly is. Other than the processes down here. Sulfuric waste water. Clean. Um. This one exactly. Crushed coal. Clean coal to coke. Recipe. Crushed coal, purified water makes charcoal and sulfuric wastewater. Um. Isn't that, is that what we're using or are we doing something else? Crushed coal. I suspect that's not what we're doing. We're doing something completely different to that. We don't even have coal. Um, our liquefiers are simply making carbon from charcoal. Uh, you've got to start with crushed coal. I don't know where you get crushed coal from. Fresh coal. Comes from coal. There are wood to coal. Uh, wood. You can make coal directly from wood. Maybe this is something we should be doing. Wood to coal to make some sulfuric wastewater. It seems it seems extreme. Is there any other way of getting some sulfuric wastewater? So I know when I built these processes down here, I basically stopped any excess going back out. Um, but they must need a small injection of fresh fresh uh, uh, 
else we can't run the blue blue algae uh, okay what other options do we have how much sulfuric wastewater is there over here tons The hell of a pipe. Um, or is it? Is that really so bad? It's only from here to here. It's not so terrible. We already have this special valve, top up valve, which. Um, Yeah, so, um, I might make this one, is there like a one-way valve? Non-return. It's loading me up with stuff. Do I want the stuff? Not really. Okay. Um, you copy of that. Blue tiles. This isn't going to work because I can't get any further than that. Uh, okay, whatever. Problem solved. Um, sulfuric waste water. Well, let's let's bring this over. Uh, That's going to get messy fast, so let's just change course slightly. Um, we want it to hook into this, so probably to about here. Uh, in fact, at this point, I'm going to bring it from source. Uh, that's not going to work, so actually from up there. Finish the rest with some normal pipes. And this should be a. Oh. Would have been a nice source, uh, or will be again. As soon as this starts emptying that, we'll get some. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, maybe on that note it's just about time to wrap up. Um, so I still haven't sorted out copper. I might even sort out copper between times. Thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye for now.